Hey guys, me again. Uh, now the wheel is in and relatively true. Uh, not as true as I'd like, but we're a bit stuck with it. Uh, I'm going to show you what I call balancing the brakes. So if you look at the front brake as I pull it, uh, there you go. both bits move fairly evenly and it runs without rubbing. If I look at the back brake, uh, find a better shot. Can you see it there? Kind of. See, that side moves significantly more. So what you get is a very small gap there and a very large gap there. Uh, so all brakes have some form of adjustment. Some of them are better than others. Uh, in this case, it's that little Allen key. Uh, where am I? There. So all I do, put an Allen key in. This one's three mil and tighten it. So clockwise always tightens generally. And you see the brake move there. Now all that's done is there's a spring inside it and it's adjusted that spring force so it's much greater. So you can see they now move about the same amount. So what we're looking for is as I spin the wheel, the gap between them is about even and both brakes release evenly. It's as simple as that. Uh, if you can't do it by just tightening one or it's up against the stop, you can see this one's quite far out. You can tighten or loosen the other side. Um, and that will solve the problems. Uh, you may have a Phillips head screwdriver there instead of an Allen key. Uh, and some of them don't have adjustments at all. Some of them have an external spring. So you'll see an arm of steel sprung up behind here that runs up around there. Um, the best way of adjusting those is unhook it. So it springs loose, so the, the uh, brake arm is loose and floppy. And then basically bend it in towards the wheel and you'll need quite some resistance to do it, it's sprung. Uh, do it until it sort of find where it starts being resistance and then push it a bit further. And as you do that, you're basically opening the spring up and it gives the brake more spring force. Um, so that way you can then rehook it back on. It'll be harder to hook on this time if you've done it correctly and that will pull the brake arm further off. Uh, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, I'll go through tuning the gears in the next video. Cheers.